Hello everyone, so tonight I'm going to try to be proving to you that aim assist and range doesn't mean much regardless of how low or high those stats are on sniper rifles exclusively. This is based off of Mercules' recent findings and I'll show that diagram and all those stats later on. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here is Mercules' breakdown of how range works. This was shown off in Fallout Play's recent video on how range works, which is where I got my current understanding from. Now this involves a lot more in terms of rapid fire weapons and how the bloom will affect the uh, sort of bullet magnetism, but that's not going to work or affect sniper rifles anywhere near as much as something like hand cannons or auto rifles. So, as you can see here, the red is the accuracy cone, so where your bullets will land, and the aim assist cone is how far you can shoot before your bullet gets dragged into it. Now, with something like a spare rations that I've seen, this is quite accurate, but with a sniper rifle, this is dramatically brought in, and I've got the clips, you know, to show you that that is the case. So, range affects how far away your bullet magnetism powers actually affect um, the world and you've got the aim assist stat which is an individual stat from range uh, aim assist is the width of the cone so how far away from the head you can aim before the bullet snaps to the head and gives you a free kill essentially so what I'm trying to prove here in this video is that the range and the aim assist are virtually all the same across 20 meter, 40 meter and 60 meter ranges with some of the most popular uh, sniper rifles that are being used at the moment. I could have used Twilight Oath uh, and I could have used Beloved but I took the highest and the lowest uh, and compared them directly so I didn't see the need to show the ones in the middle because there wouldn't really be a point but yeah I do hope you enjoy. If Like honestly, I Okay, so that was actually quite far away from your head. Still make the yeah. 40 meters, like the side of my reticle needs to be touching your head, and that's a kill. So we'll go like that, like that. That's a really Yeah. Oh, perfectly sixty as well. Works with hand cannons, so it's how it works with everything. But it clearly has no effect on something that, like, think about a hand cannon. A hand cannon has a natural big bloom. Whereas the sniper rifle is meant to go in a virtually straight line. 60, perfect.
honestly, from just looking at the upper echelons and the lower echelons of range and aim assist using the Planet Destiny database that you've seen that sorts everything by the internal values, I honestly don't believe that there is enough of a difference between the highest and lowest range and aim assist to actually take one over the other. The only outlier I could find was the supremacy with the target and adjuster on. Is the program evoker broken and would I rather it would be replaced with something like headshots grant ammo back to the mag? Absolutely. The gun itself, base stats, I don't believe it does anything. I think I've tried my best to show that today in this video. But I completely agree that the perk should do with a rework, and like Astacross said, it can affect trials uh, in terms of ammo economy. So I completely agree. But thanks for watching.